I'll just do this for free. Come on, who pays for this? Well, actually, your brother paid for two months for you here. Bill, let it be. Mark, your brother cares about you. Oh, of course he paid. You know, I don't need anything from him, all right? Not anymore, you got that? He's gonna take this and he's gonna hold it over me just like it is everything else. Well, I'm not gonna let him do it. Well, I think you should spend the night here and pray over it. I don't wanna fucking pray! Well, then think. In the morning, we'll talk again. And in the meantime, please watch your language. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Can I go to my room now? Yes, but check with Scott after dinner. He may have a project he needs your help with. You know, sent me up here to see if you needed a hand. Looks like you got everything under control there, Big Bird. Who do you fuck to get a cigarette around here? No nicotine allowed. But if you don't mind, I could use a hand. Not bad. Whatever, it looks like you're almost done to me. Do you think he'll make it? Mm. He's got no place left to go but the streets. He's too spoiled to make it out there. I figure we got two days before he decides to leave. What if we don't take his brother's money? Gail. What if we could call Pastor Thompson or the family council? No, no, we tapped him out already. Besides, I got an election coming up. So we've got two days to make an impression. Well, you made an impression on me in less than five minutes. Hey. Oh, I, I, I love you, but, but, I, but I can't. Okay. Let me make you happy. and the result of an unconscious desire to alienate a predator. You are not fucking serious. No, I'm not. Look, if you're gonna bolt, go around the front. That way you don't pass Ted and Gail's room. The room's all yours. Guardian of this holy abode. First nights are tough. What happened to no nicotine? Progress, not perfection. I won't say anything if you won't. Oh, sorry, it's not stronger, but it's addictive if that's what you're looking for. You all right? What? Maybe better stay the night. Take off tomorrow. Won't get a ride at this hour anyway. There's never everybody on the road. How long have you been here? About five minutes. Couldn't sleep. I mean, this place. Yeah, I know you Five months. You've been here five months. You need these more than I do. Hey, are you OK? Are you sure you're all right? Fine. You look pale. How the fuck did you tell it's dark? Shit! Hey! Hey! 
see things differently. I promise you that. <laughs> I don't want it to be this way. I know. <laughs> you are loved here, Mark. My dad died of liver failure. Jesus couldn't save him from alcoholism, so I guess that's where I got it from, right? <clears throat> so, speaking of, these past three weeks have been a bitch. But, uh, Lester's cool. You make me laugh. <laughs> but, uh, Randall, man, he's good for a lame joke or two every now and then. <laughs> I'll tell you one time I got about as far as the porch, though. Something made me stop. I'm sure none of you are familiar with what that feels like, right? I think there's something to this place. In the past, I would have been another county by now, for sure. Hey, man, I'm sorry. Oh, what? Well, I should have probably thanked you for helping me out that first day. I opened your pass out, Jermaine. It's okay, don't worry. No hard feelings? What we're all trying to do here is hard enough. I don't need my ego getting in the way. Do you really think this shit works? Just depends on what you mean by works. How do you want to live? Better I've had plenty of experience doing it my way. Now I can try it someone else's. Hey, fellas, how about give me a hand with all those bird houses? Oh, I'd live for it, Ted. Good, let's get to it. I still say we should charge more than 10 bucks for these things. It's for charity, Mark, not QVC. What? Maybe we should charge more for yours. Just a thought. I really like Maxine a lot. We've been going out almost a year now, can you believe it? <laughs> Feels right. I thought I'd get here. But after five years, I had to accomplish something, you know? I'm result-oriented. Oh, well, maybe that's not the best way to put it. I thought of asking her to marry me. But I haven't said anything yet. I need to be making more money first. She can't move in here. I, I sure don't want to live with her mother. That's the only option right now. But I'll make it work somehow. But if I'm going to be totally honest, and I didn't include this in my last accountability report. This new guy, Ma, 